the first half, creating more opportunities, holding the ball less time in the middle of the park, and really attacking the goals of Robert uh, Sumeoni. Widows Zebras, on the other hand, they have come forward a few times, and in one situation they've could have equalised with uh, Apostolikas. But, uh, header there, but, uh, but they haven't really created any more other like threatening moves that will trouble Augustine tonight here at the uh, Jack Edward Reserve as Oakley now, Damianos. Referee said uh, play on, there was a foul there on uh, Juan Nilo, but uh, Bill Damianos dispossessed in the middle of the park. Here come Whittlesey's, let's see how they go now. Yeah, the possibly. Zebras here against Oakley Cannons. And uh, Damianos now looking for some options. Oakley holding on to the ball. And Whittles and Zebras applying the pressure. So if they need to, they need to put them away as quick. There and uh, foul a foul right here. in front of the uh, cameras there. And uh, the referee probably taken quickly there by Francic. Kozic again, Damianos. Here comes Oakley playing some pretty good football at the moment. Zebra's now across right in the danger zone there. Trying to control the ball and trying to bring the ball into the Oakley half. There's a Woodles of Zebra. And a bit move. of a strong uh, tackle there by uh, Webster. And here comes uh, Piakowski with the free the kick. Area. Jerry Carper coming back. Callum Pocus now acquired by uh, Whittlesey just recently from uh, Richmond Eagles and he's a tough little fighter there and he's uh, getting away with uh, the ball there, Rosman, the captain of uh, Oakley. Complaining there. Really getting into trouble. So Augustine with the long kick for the Oakley Cannons. They're leading by one goal to nil. Of course, in the all familiar blue strip. For those who have just tuned in to the Victorian Football Show. And John, again, a big thank you. Um, let's have a look at this one now a free kick. We will thank our sponsors. Right in front of goal here. A great little touch. And, and there it is. Carpu has put the ball in for Oakley Cannons. So 2 0 for the Oakley Cannons. But what are. a fantastic little touch there by Ivan Frangic. Let's have a look at that again because he certainly made it happen there and all Carpu. To to be more the goal scorer than Carpe. But and have a look at again. this. He was onside and look at this little touch there, bringing the ball back. And Carpu and he hit the post. He hit the post. He hit the post now. I don't know whether Carpe did get a touch there, Ross, but the ball landed at the back of the net. And so it's 2-0 for Oakley, whether it's Frank Hitch or Or Carpe. the goal. <laughs> Or the goalpost, John. Or it the goal doesn't post. matter. <laughs> <laughs> but the Oakley. point is, Oakley now um, have a bit of a stronghold on this game, oh, leading yeah. by two goals to nil and still attacking. Well, like we said, it's a long time for the fans of the home team here to celebrate a win. I can recall coming uh, into this game how long ago a win was uh, celebrated here at Oakley and there we have another situation where Oakley could have made it 3-0 and it was great reflexes this time by Robert Simeone let's have a look here great reflexes there and he uh, had to get rid of that ball and look to me punch the ball Kos out. was a player that headed that ball but uh, so quick Oakley John is certainly putting on a lot of pressure here and they they're looking very Quite dynamic. Here comes a nice little touch in front. Again. The Zebras just clearing the ball as far as they can at this stage. Desperation stuff now for the uh, Whittlesey back line. But here, here they come through. Uh, oh, here on the ball now with uh, tussling there with uh, Frankic. A few changes now with... Uh, Whittlesey Zebras, we see uh, Hadzi Costas coming in, Stefan Hadzi Costas. There's Whittlesey pushing for Rosman over the ball, right in right front of goal. Ball. Here it is. And the shot just going wide, but another opportunity there. Surely he could have done a lot better. The number eight for Whittlesey, La Verde, who's come onto the second half, Ross. Yep. Taking the shot. It was La Verde, that's correct. 
John, you are correct, my friend. Here comes nice uh, taken corner there. Oakley cannons through Billy Damianos. Carpu now <coughs> in the middle, but uh, again possession with the Whittlesea Zebras. Can they peg one back here? Let's have a look. Kalabokas. Good play by Very Whittlesea. high ball there. Dangerous ball there, but uh, mopped up nicely by Augustine of Oakley. No problems there for the Oakley keeper. And Buddhist Zebras, they're pushing forward a lot more now. They've got no options left for him, and sometimes this might create problems in the back line. As Oakley pushing forward, Carpo. Carpo again! And what a magic save! Let's have a look at that again. Carpo, beautiful, turned the ball around, managed to get a shot, and what a magic save by Simeone. Good keeping for Simeone, he saved this team on two occasions. As uh, so Widow Zebras now, they're pushing forward. A massive save there by Simeone to keep his team with some hope of Whittlesea Zebras. Here they come. And Agostino with a cross there, but again, straight into the arms of Scott Agustin. There's the cross. Again, a bit too far for his strikers. And we've seen that on a few occasions for the Widow Zebras. Well, they are pressing forward. They're looking for that goal that might change the game for him. And a free kick will be awarded to the Oakley Cannons. The home team leading two goals to nil. Goals coming from Juan Nilo and Jerry Carpu. As Juan Nilo trying to play the 1 2 outside the 18 yard box. A shot. A bit of a deflection. And what a lovely, very smart shot that one. And as we can see, Simeone there, or oh, pardon me. Billy Banyanos with that uh, Yes, shot. that's right. Simeone. That was a very smart uh, ball there. Here come Whittlesea Zebras now. Under the pump, two goals down. Jack Edwards reserve. A good play there, still pushing forward. Uh, they haven't given up. And they have created a few openings, uh, playing the flanks, especially this right hand side. A good switch of play for Whittles and Zebras. They've been moving the ball around a little bit more fluently. Delia, looking for Apostolikas there. And here comes a corner for Whittles and Zebras. Right in front of goal. There. Good header there from Apostolikas, uh, Ross. And well, well, well. And there we have all that pressure playing off for the Whittles and Zebras. A look and at that what header. A beautiful header. Great power, but unmarked. And you can, can I this. say, where were the defence here no, of Oakley Cannons? No blue Anastasiades would be ropeable at the moment. I mean, he was on his own completely there. And he was, uh, it wasn't the only one. There was another two players behind him that were unmarked also. So Whittles and Zebras now, they're looking for their equaliser. Great cross, here comes shot. Across. Yeah, not enough power behind that one. They, they certainly can be get back into this game. They've... Uh, Pegged one goal back and there was an opportunity to peg another one. So Oakley Cannons now, they've got their headaches. They need to come away with the three points in their home ground. And of course all the fans are probably worried, uh, not another draw or a defeat here at Jack Edward Reserve. But it's a home team now. Pushing forward. Great, great ball there. but. Uh... Possibly a bit too strong for Dracos. So, would there be enough time for Whittles and Zebras to come back into this game? The dying minutes of this game, can they peg it back? A bit difficult, John. But here they come. Oakley oh, playing the ball safely behind. And there it is, the final whistle of this one. And we see Oakley Cannons defeat Whittles and Zebras by two goals to one as we see the two friends, the coaches, Anastasiadis and of course Ange Postacoglu congratulating each other. A great game and of course can we say a very important win for Oakley Cannons of course here in their home ground Jack Edwards Reserve. <laughs>